parent to a child with ADHD, you probably find yourself constantly prompting your child, telling them what they need to do, what needs to happen next, because you are constantly acting as they are executive functioning. One thing to always keep in mind as you're providing these prompts is to do your very best not to give them in an insulting or condescending way. This tends to happen when the parent themselves get overwhelmed, frustrated, burnt out, and oftentimes the parent themselves have ADHD, so it's hard for them to manage their emotions. But we have to remember, as the adult, as the parent, we are always modeling to our children. Our kids are always going to learn more from watching us and observing us than any of the lectures, words, or language we provide them. So we have to provide these prompts in a very specific type of way. Another thing to remember is that when you provide the prompts, if you tend to do it in a negative, insulting way, it's going to set off that fight-flight response in your child, where it's instantly going to become more stimulating to do the opposite of the prompt, to prove the parent wrong and to get stuck in that argument vortex, and you're going to see lots of behaviors instead of them actually doing what you need them to do. So what we see is we tend to see parents go into a kid's room and it's a mess and they'll say things like, how could you possibly live like this? This room is disgusting. How did you let it get like this? Or the child might be moving too slow for an appointment or a place you need to be and the parent will start to say things like, you're moving so slow. How do you not know what to do yet? Why are you doing this and causing us to be late? And even saying very general statements like, you never do anything I ask. How many times do I have to ask you? You never listen to me. Do you want me to do everything for you? Why is this so hard for you? So step one for parents to end this cycle is to number one, focus on the environment instead of the child. If you have a house that is filled with screens and the child has open access to video games or their phone, chances are they're going to get lost in that world of instant gratification and ignore anything that is non-stimulating and is much less gratifying. So it is your role as the parent to make sure the environment is not filled with distractions. If it's filled with distractions, that is your responsibility to get rid of those things because it's going to be a vicious cycle of them getting stuck on screens and ignoring you. So what you're going to want to do is be very clear and concise and stay on message. You can say something like, okay, in 15 minutes, we have to be fully ready to go to the store or to go to our appointment. We need to get dressed and get ready. I'm going to go downstairs and get ready as well. Come to me when you're ready.